In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on August 28, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. New York Giants vs. New York Jets This Sunday, the New York Giants and the New York Jets will play their third and final 2022 NFL preseason game. These two teams are very familiar with one another, as both teams will be using this game to prepare for the start of the 2022 NFL season. The New York Giants haven't announced if they will play any starters in this game, but I would expect most of them to play the first few possessions. Daniel Jones played last week, as I am expecting to see all three quarterbacks play again in this one. Watch for them to limit Barkley, though. He was banged up last season and they won't want to risk injury with him before the season even starts. Robert Sale, the New York Jets head coach, announced that he will be playing his starters to begin this game. He will use this final preseason game as a dress rehearsal. They will still be without Zach Wilson, though. Joe Flacco will get the start in this one. The New York Giants will be out to build on their 25-22 win over the Bengals in their last preseason matchup. Davis Webb threw for 204 yards and two touchdowns on 22 of 27 passing with a pair of touchdowns as well while Daniel Jones threw for 116 yards and an interception on 14 of 16 passing. Tyra Taylor tossed for 37 yards on 7 of 11 passing while Jashon Corbin had 27 rushing yards and a touchdown. Antonio Williams also had 26 rushing yards while Alex Bachman led the Giants receiving group with 11 grabs for 122 yards and a pair of touchdowns. David Sills the fifth had five catches for 56 yards and the aforementioned Williams had seven catches for 46 yards while Colin Johnson added three grabs for 41 yards. Micah McFadden led the Giants defense with five total tackles while Kyle Dorsey added a sack as well in the win. The New York Jets will try to build on a 24-16 come from behind win over the Falcons from their last matchup. Chris Streveler threw for 119 yards, a touchdown and an interception on 8 of 11 passing while Mike White tossed for 90 yards on 12 of 17 passing. Streveler also led the Jets with 33 rushing yards while Lamical Perrin had a rushing score for the Jets in the win. Lawrence Cager led the Jets with 3 grabs for 65 yards and a touchdown while Tarek Black had a team-high 4 grabs for 47 yards. Denzel Mims also had 43 receiving yards on 3 grabs. On defense, Delshawn Phillips led the Jets with 8 total tackles tackles while Jonathan Marshall and Bradley Annie each had a sack in the win for the Jets. The Giants are 0-6 against the spread in their last six games overall and 0-5 against the spread in their last five road games while the under is 21-6-1 in their last 28 games overall. The over is 6-2 in the Jets' last eight home games and 10-4 in the Jets' last 14 games overall. In what has become nearly a tradition at this point, the New York Jets and New York Giants will square off to close out this year's preseason. Both teams find themselves in the midst of changes following disappointing seasons in 2021. On one hand, the Giants have shown encouraging signs this August with new head coach Brian Dabble at the helm. Starting quarterback Daniel Jones has gotten some snaps, but the majority of the work under center has come from Davis Webb and Tyra Taylor. Both quarterbacks have impressed, with Webb in particularly playing very well in last week's win over Cincinnati. More importantly, the Giants' offensive line has stood tall in the run game, a factor that helped New York put up over 150 rushing yards against the Patriots in Week 1. The Jets have also seen success this preseason, with wins in each of their first two games. However, those matchups both required fourth-quarter comebacks in order for the Jets to emerge victorious. I get the case to be made for the Jets here as the Jets look decent in their rally against the Falcons. However, the Jets still dug themselves into a big hole early and while the Giants did as well, the Giants looked better throughout their comeback and I just think there's a lot more depth to be excited about when it comes to the Giants. With the Giants having success on the ground and on the defensive side of the ball, I'm expecting a close hard-fought contest in this in-state rivalry. So the New York Giants to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. I see the Jets' offense struggling in this one, as the Giants' defense looked solid last week. 
They held the Bengals to just nine points in the first half as they continued to put pressure on their opponent's quarterbacks and they made it difficult for them to move the ball through the air. The Jets only threw for 209 passing yards last week as their backup struggled in the first half of their Week 2 preseason game. They will now struggle in this one as I don't see the Jets scoring enough points. The Giants allowed 271 total yards of offense last week and I see them staying strong in this one as well. I also love the way their defense kept their team in last week's game as their backups also looked solid in the second half. The Jets will fail to move the ball successfully through the air and on the ground as their offense will stay stagnant in this one. The Giants will also struggle to score at different points throughout this game as I am still expecting a few mistakes from their backups. They stormed back last week but they struggled to score points early in their game against the Bengals. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Lions vs. Pittsburgh Steelers The Pittsburgh Steelers will be looking to remain unbeaten when closing out their preseason run on Sunday against the visiting Detroit Lions. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin is on the verge of finishing out his fifth consecutive preseason with a winning record. His team eked out a win over the Jacksonville Jaguars after outgunning the Seattle Seahawks in the opener. Meanwhile, Lions coach Dan Campbell is 1-4 as the team's head coach in the preseason. Detroit outlasted the Indianapolis Colts in their last outing after dropping a loss to the Atlanta Atlanta Falcons. The Detroit Lions have lost nine of their last 10 preseason games. The Lions racked up 27 points and 332 yards while allowing 26 points and 291 yards. In the winning effort, Tim Boyle threw for 99 yards and one touchdown, while David Bluff completed 16 of 22 passes. Justin Jackson led the Lions with 54 rushing yards on seven carries, while Trinity Benson and Shane Zilstra combined for 78 receiving yards on nine receptions. John Kaminsky led the Lions with six tackles, Austin Bryant had one sack, and Sabian Smith had one pass deflection. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won 10 of their last 12 preseason games. The Steelers racked up 16 points and 279 yards while allowing 15 points and 367 yards. In the winning effort, Mason Rudolph threw for 127 yards and one touchdown, while Kenny Pickett completed six of seven passes. Steven Sims led the Steelers with 11 rushing yards on one carry, while Tyler Bonds and Pat Freyermuth combined for 91 receiving yards on six receptions. Robert Spilling led the Steelers with eight tackles, TJ Watt had one sack, and Justin Lane had one interception. The Lions are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games and 7-2 against the spread in their last nine games overall. The under is 6-2 in Lions' last eight road games. The under is 4-0 in Steelers' last four home games. The underdog is 4-1 against the spread in their last five meetings. The 2022 NFL preseason wraps up on Sunday afternoon with the Steelers hosting the Lions. While both Detroit and Pittsburgh are blue-collar towns, they are far different when it comes to the success of their football teams. The Steelers should continue being the superior team in this game as well. Head coach Mike Tomlin hasn't been one to take the preseason as seriously as the division rival Ravens and John Harbaugh. However, that was primarily during a time with an aging Big Ben at quarterback and an established receiver group. It's safe to say things are far different in Pittsburgh now. The Steelers have a true three-way quarterback battle, meaning each should be expected to not only play but also to perform as if it's the regular season. Rookie Kenny Pickett and veterans Mason Rudolph and Mitch Trubisky have each seen time in both of the Steelers' preseason games. They have accounted for six touchdowns between them as they get their timing down with their receiving core. Starters Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, and tight end Pat Freyermuth all saw action in their most recent game in order for the quarterback battle to be as realistic as possible. Not to mention the hype rookie George Pickens has generated with his crazy speed and toe-dragging catches. All of that tension and effort will come against a Lions team that has long been expected to be one of the worst in the league. That's no different this season. The Lions going to be relying almost solely on running back Dander Swift in 2022 and he saw no action last week. With three key quarterbacks that can make any roster in the NFL, the Steelers are poised to put points on the board. Although, they aren't the best options for regular season play in the preseason, this quarterback play by committee is viable. I'm not a fan of laying more than a field goal in preseason, especially the last game where guys guaranteed a roster spot don't play. However, the Detroit Lions have looked shaky defensively through two games, and they've had no preseason success over the years. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won 10 of their last 12 preseason games, and they have 
experienced backup quarterbacks who can take advantage of backup defenders. The Lions have struggled with their two backup quarterbacks on the field and without Goff seeing the field, Pittsburgh should have enough skill at home to take the W so the Pittsburgh Steelers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Opposing teams averaged 27.5 points per game against the Lions last season. That number has held firm in the preseason with the defense giving up nearly the same average in points. The Steelers are expected to play their starters for this game with Mitchell Trubisky working in at quarterback. There's a good chance they could see extended minutes as well. So this likely isn't a situation where it's just a couple of drives and then back on the sideline in street clothes. Pittsburgh will run up the scoreboard in this matchup the same way other teams have against Detroit. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.